My name is Sylvia Hendricks. I come from the Chickasaw District and I actually reside in Sells. Um, and I've been with the college for um, eight years now and I am the uh, Vice President of Student Services. Um, I actually oversee the athletic program among other programs having to do with students. And the basketball program began two years ago. Uh, it was an idea that was shared by Mr. Vargas. Uh, Matthew Vargas, athletic director, uh, head coach, uh, Tohono O'odham Community it's College. Turn out, us, turn out us, I said. You heard me. I'm right here, Joe. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo, I'm right here. Woo hustle here in the Well, the idea uh, kind of struck me after we um, we made a contribution. Uh, I was with the rec, uh, rec division. Uh, we made a contribution to the Pima Community College Athletics. Uh, they had an opening on their schedule. Um, I put together a, a team of, uh, of TO guys and uh, two non-native guys, and we invited them out to the nation. Uh, made a thousand dollar donation to Pima Athletics, and they came out. And they played us, and we actually uh, we actually won. Um, it was December twenty eighth. Um, it was freezing cold, and uh, I didn't even really realize it at the time, um, uh, but uh, the place was packed. Um, the, uh, the event director of Well, the, f the first step was um, speaking with Patrick Andrews. Uh, he's the director of education. He, he was my boss. I was working long, hard hours at the rec centers. Uh, I'm not so sure that, that he wanted me to to pursue something, so I was kind of apprehensive. Uh, but once I took it to him and proposed it to him and, and asked for his blessing to go and chase this dream down, um, man, he was he was all, he was all behind it. Uh, I then uh, consulted with uh, a couple of, of people that were involved with the college, uh, Damascus Francisco and also uh, interim president, uh, Jane Latine, who, she's the greatest. She's, she's just a really neat woman, and, uh, and she was all about it. Hey, TOC, CO3, one, two, three, four. Uh, that's that's kind of how we did it. Um, I took April Ignacio and Damascus Francisco along with me to go meet with a bunch of athletic directors uh, from other junior colleges uh, at, at a conference meeting and just went in there cold turkey, presented to them, of course, after we had our blessing from uh, Jane Latinay, and then I was to report back to her, and uh, it just snowballed from there, and um, it, it was pretty, pretty special. There was a lot of people uh, in, involved. Um, Sylvia Hendricks uh, then got on board. Uh, it, it was just, it was just really awesome. Um, my name is Jim Vanderhoeven, and I'm the president of Toronto Optum Community College. I've been at the college since October of 2011, and prior to my arrival, uh, the decision was made earlier that year to introduce uh, intercollegiate uh, sports uh, at TOCC, and they began uh, with men's basketball during that first year, and we're now uh, nearing the end of our second season for men's basketball and nearing the end of our first season for women's basketball. Uh, Brownie made all of them, all right? All right. All right. All right. Yeah, so now you guys leave, Marcy. Uh, women's head coach. Good timing, Kayla! Okay, what did you get out of the first year? Get yourself set and find that backboard. You guys are playing well, okay, but it's those possessions off, all right? We, we learned how to play hard. Hey, Shark, keep playing hard, keep taking it. Night in, night out, and kind of what, what, what we really tried to get out of it was the process that it takes to become a successful player and a successful team on and off the court. Um, and, and that's what we kind of tried to stress every single practice of, you know, your character means a lot. Uh, and we, we had shirts made with character on the side, just talking about, you know, win or lose, how do you hold yourself, how do you present yourself, the, the kind of person that you are and you want to become. Thank you. 
Um, Jasmine Suarez um, from Las Vegas, Nevada, but I was born in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I play shooting guard. Right, number 32, Jasmine Suarez. In five years, I see this program being big, getting wins all the time. People, if even a bigger crowd will come because it's going to be big. Hi, I'm Dalitia Galas. I play for the JUCOs, the ladies, number 13. Um, I'm from Tucson, Arizona. In five years, I see this um, program succeeding to like the fullest, like being one of the best teams out there that anybody could ever go and watch and play. Good. Good. My name is Nicole Yassi. I play a forward and a wing. Um, I'm from Sheep Springs, New Mexico. The first year was amazing. It was fun. We had our ups and downs, but um, learn responsibility, respect, um, character, uh, have heart, and push all the way through. Good. Go. Look up. Um, hi, my name is Jermaine Begay. I'm from Chinle, Arizona, and I'm a starting point guard for the TOCC Ladies Jugos. Uh, best thing about playing for TOCC. I would tell them to work on the game and just basically go back down to the fundamentals because at a college level, it's very hard to teach fundamentals, and I think they should just go all out if they love the sport and continue doing what you're doing. Weight lift a lot and um, eat healthy. Pick up, pick up right here. I'm Darlene Danahy, I'm number 22, I'm a forward for the TOCC Jukos. I think that this and, program uh, is going to be very successful in five years. Um, I know, I mean, this year we're small in numbers and small in size, and obviously being a brand new program, um, it was, you know, we, we took our lumps, but I think that we've started something special here. Um, you can see the guys made a great jump after, from the first year to the second year. I think we're going to make an even bigger one. Um, you know, from this year to next, and then in five years, it's, it's really going to be, I think we're going to be, we're going to become a powerhouse pretty quickly. Uh, my name is Kim Ortega, and I play center forward for TSC. I'm from Santa Fe. Get in. <laughs> oh, and we're going to count that one. Well, we inspire youth out there that's thinking about going to TSC or thinking about playing for the Jiggles. Um, just keep on it. Keep on your studies. Keep on, you know, your physical activity. Keep trying. Um, you can't really, just don't stop dreaming. Just keep pushing forward. I mean, if you don't get to come play ball, you at least get to finish school. And that's an, a big accomplishment on its own. A high school diploma means a lot to, you know, a lot of places. Uh, college education is, you know, worth all the money and worth, you know, it'll get you good places. And being able to play ball is just, you know, the cherry on top. It's an experience. And if you want it, just keep working for it and you can get it. Whether it be TOCC or not, I, I would tell anybody that wants to play ball at the next level that, it, that the opportunity is out there uh, and you, you have to go find it and you have to work at it to go get it. Um, at least to a youth that wants to come to TOCC and play uh, is to continue to work hard. Um, that, that college basketball is 100% different than anything they've ever done. Uh, and being out here, you really have to embrace the support and, and the work ethic out here to, to go to class every single day, to, to take care of your classwork, and then to, to really be disciplined in, in how you go about everything. Uh, and TLCC is, is the best place to do that. They really are with the, the teachers really willing to work with you, the support from the administration, on down. Uh, we really, it's a great family atmosphere out here, uh, not just in the program, but again, the, the community is, is amazing. My name is Ruben Silvas. Uh, I play shooting guard, and this is my first year with the Jugos. Arizona! I want the fans to bring more energy when they come into the gym, you know, we feed off of that and it'd be good if they could do that for us. We want real men! We want real men! It's an honor to play for the nation. I didn't, I didn't think so much people were looking up to us like that. So it's an honor and I'm very grateful for that.
My name is Ryan Took from La Grande, Oregon, and I've been playing for the Jugos for two years. Get more information about that. Oh, it's it, it, it's definitely an experience. He has his own way of doing things. He gives you enough rope to to, to do it yourself, and but he he expects the most out of you, and, you, and he's going to give you everything he has. He puts a lot of work into it, and it's, it's it's a pleasure. It's a real pleasure. That's the difference between winning and losing, guys. Ryan took up the go get your money's worth. Let's go. I'm Gabriel Valencia. I play the forward and the center position, and I'm from Douglas, Arizona. How was it coming on the reservation? It was way different, <laughs> especially coming from an urban place, but it's not all bad as everybody made a team at first when we were coming out here. Once you get used to it, you kind of like it. Uh, Drew Harris. Where you come from? Um, well, originally, my mom's from Chulik, so I've been both in Tucson and here in Cells. What are you majoring in? Uh, liberal arts right now. Liberal arts, and um, I'm getting ready to transfer to uh, Haskell next year, uh, trying to get into Native American studies, and we'll see, we'll see where it goes from there, but I'm, I'm really trying to stay here on the nation. I think my life's work will be here on the nation. Um, I just, you know, I really want to be a part of its growth, you know, and uh, give back a little bit. How does it feel working for uh, Coke? Uh, it's good, good. I had to, I really had to learn how to, how to work with him. You know, he, he's a real tough. I mean, he's, he's a phenomenal coach. You know, he's, he's really good at um, getting honest about doing the right thing. Um, relentless, you know. He taught he taught me how to be relentless in whatever it is I'm doing. You know, never never stop pushing it. Um, you know, always be hard. You know, really look at yourself and and see how much more you can get out of whatever you're doing. Roland Ramon. My name's Roland Ramon. Um, I'm from uh, Gua Village, and I've been playing with the Jiggles. This will be my uh, second year. I'm a sophomore this year. I'm majoring in uh, business management. Um, the first year was a little tough because uh, um, it was my first time playing organized ball um, in about, I don't know how many years. It's, it's been quite a few years, but it's been kind of tough to um, kind of go back to uh, like the high school era and having to uh, be told uh, what to do. I mean, I played res ball, but that's a whole lot different. And this is college ball, and it, it's a whole nother level. And I think uh, the most difficult part was uh, the competition. They, they were just a lot stronger, a lot faster, so I had to use my head a little bit more. And um, but this year, it's it's a lot different than last year. A little bit more experience. In five years, hopefully we'll be recognized as a national powerhouse uh, community college team in five years, um, uh, along with the uh, um, academics also. I'm, I just hope it, uh, the school grows into like uh, maybe a four-year college. Oh, let's see, what would I tell them? I would tell them to follow their dreams, never give up, because uh, look at me, um, I've been wanting to play college ball over 15 years now and it's finally happening but uh, I would just say never give up uh, um, if you want uh, something bad enough uh, go get it but um, the the thing is you gotta work hard practice when people hear about Tohono O'odham Community College of Basketball in just two years they know three things one we're gonna come to play two we're on the rise and three, uh, you might not necessarily want to come to Tapala and play us. <laughs> um, it's a tough place to play. Everybody knows we have a tremendous home court advantage here. It's been a great year. It's been an honor to play with 
with all these people and uh, uh, meet new people and all the support. It, you know, it gets you here. You get uh, kind of speechless, but I, I loved it here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. I really appreciate it. I can't. There's no words for it right now. I appreciate it though. Thank you. Thank you very much. Playing for the Town Autumn College, and I look forward to playing next year. I just want to thank the nation for their support these two years. It's been a dream. What can I say? You should have went to the playoffs. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> it's been great playing for TLCC, and uh, I'm ready to go to half school. So Tio Nation, go Jacobs! Woo! Hey! <laughs> hey I love Tio Nation. Alright, alright. <laughs> hey, Jameson, I'll be back next year. Number two, we out for you. Number 25, we about to get it. Yeah, hey. we get it. Alright, we get it. We'll be back, we'll be back, we'll be back. I got you next year, I got you next year. Huh? Shout out to the whole Autumn Nation. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for supporting all the season. Thank you. Thank you for the Autumn Nation for the support all year. It's a great season. Yay! Congratulations! Thanks for the support! What are doing? Thanks, Thanks. 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 Can't believe it's over. Can't believe it's over. Great season, double digit victories, total team effort, board, administration, coaching staff. This is what it's about. All the fans, all the kids. And wonderful experience working with the Thornhawthorne Community College Jiggles. I look forward to next season. The season was excellent. The guys did it. The guys and the girls did an excellent job. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll shout out to uh, to my fiance. Uh, we're getting married in April. Uh, she she's been to pretty much every single game, supporting the girls. Uh, not me. She's supporting the girls more than me. Um, but just I thank her for giving me the time and, and, and the support to do this. Uh, and I want to shout out to, to Coach Vargas and Athletic Director Vargas for for believing in me and, and giving me the opportunity. To, to coach with him last year on the men's side and, and to start the women's program and really helping me along the way with anything that we need and, and that sort of thing. And then finally Vice President uh, Sylvia Hendricks and, and President James Vanderhoeven for always being there and supporting us and, and, and just giving us the opportunity to do what we do every day. Uh, yeah, I wanted to give a shout out to where I'm from, Napa Nation. Um, I made it, I'm playing college ball and I support Napa Nation. And to my parents, family, and fans that I have on the TO Nation. Um, I just shout out to uh, my dad for coming to a, a bunch of games, my, my mom and my brother as well, and just the community in general. Like, the fan support here was just phenomenal and uh, it made it even more fun. I mean, it's, it's a lot of fun to play basketball, a lot of fun to play college basketball, but I think with the fan support we have here, it's just incredible. Thank you. Um, I just want to say a big thank you to my parents. Um, they've supported me in everything. Uh, I was injured for two months and they still made it out to just about every game. Um, to my boyfriend Arnold, he is my rock. He has given, you know, I mean, when I was hurt, I didn't know, you know, I doubted myself and if I was coming back or not, but he really supported me. And also to my coach and my teammate, Darlene. They, they are my family, away from my family. Um, the entire team was, and that's what, you know, got me through, so thank you to them. I <laughs> um, give a shout out to the team for being there um, throughout the whole year, sticking together, going through our ups and downs, and a shout out to family and friends and to the TO Nation. To the Galas and the Molina family. I want to give a shout out to my best friend on team, Charmaine Begay. You know, I couldn't have done the season without her. She my best friend on and off the court. And she understands me and I understand her. A um, big shout out to my family too. If it, was, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. I want to give a shout out to Coach Tim, because it's his first year too. 
He's a great coach. He'll do big things in his future. Um, my, my family is very far away. They're, they're uh, living in Ohio and New Hampshire and all over the country, so I just extend my uh, hello to them. Uh, but uh, I also would say that I couldn't be doing any of this without the support of my wife and uh, family, so I, I appreciate that as well. I just like to thank my family. They've been real supportive, and you know, even though you know I don't have uh, you know my significant other anymore, I do have you know my kids, my grandkids especially. They get so excited about you know that you know in the future they'll be going to college, and I continue to tell them you're going to go to POCC, but because that's where Grandma's at, so you're going to come there and. Also, um, my um, my kids, they even though they've grown and they're raising their children, they're, they're, uh, they've been supportive of me. And my brother, he's been real supportive. And, uh, and, I, and I especially want to throw out thanks to my staff. They've been wonderful. They've done a really good job in supporting you know, the program and supporting uh, our students. Yeah, I, I shout out to my family, um, the whole TO Nation, um, you know, all the little kids that, you know, that want to play ball here on the nation, you know, it's your chance, you have a chance now, um, it's an amazing program, and I'm glad that uh, it's here, it's here for the nation to see and to share, and, you know, I'm just thankful to be here. Yeah, hi to my family. Uh, um, Let's see, hi to my kids, and uh, hi baby. <laughs> Give a shout out to Douglas. Shout out to my mom. Wouldn't be here without you and all my siblings. I love you guys. Uh, shout out to my mom, my dad, my grandparents, my sisters, my brother, uh, everybody. I mean, I wouldn't be here without anybody, so thank you. T-O-C-C-O-3! T-O-C-C-O-3!